Oh, and then Hunter, Hunter was asking, ask the girls if they had any wild or extreme dating stories, maybe even wild uh, sexual experiences or stories. Bet Daphne has some wild ones. Okay, Daphne, why don't you start? I got to get up. Um, I have one that, I mean, obviously is the first thing that comes, oh gosh, is the first thing that comes to mind. Probably the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, and I didn't talk about it for the longest time, but I will talk about it here. Um, so basically I was 18 and I was working in a restaurant. Um, and I met this guy who was a little bit older than me. He was like around 30. Um, so we started dating and talking. I eventually ended up getting fired from the restaurant and went somewhere else. He stayed, but we moved in and um, we really fell in love. He was pretty quiet. Um, didn't really talk about his emotions too much. He was a very kind of um, closed off person, which I can respect. But we had a pretty interesting and unique relationship dynamic. I was like his dog um, and he was like my owner. So I know this is strange, but like I would have a little kennel that I would stay in and I would sleep in my kennel and if I would try to get out, he'd like spray me with water. I had a little dog bed that I would keep like under his gaming setup and like sleep under there, like his little dog. Um, I know that's strange, but yeah, our relationship I think was, I loved it. I loved being his pet. Wait, so, um, oh, okay, no, continue. And so <laughs> we we talked for about like oh, a no. year and a half. Um, and then, so he brought up that his mom um, got married and I hadn't really ever talked to my father. Um, and this is kind of the first time that he talked about his family. I wasn't ever really bringing up whether he should meet my family. I felt like I, that wasn't my place to bring it up. So he brought it up um, about maybe meeting his family. And um, he ju had just told them about me. So he was like, yeah, my mom, you know, just got, you know, recently married a couple months ago, remarried, and, um, you know, I think that we should, his family lived in L.A. He was like, I think we should take a trip up to L.A. And um, goes to show me a picture of um, his mom, and she married my dad. So he was my stepbrother. But it was a real story. I or feel is like that's to pander fake. to the audience. Oh, it's real. It wasn't, but it wasn't weird. I wasn't grossed out by it. I wasn't thinking like, oh, this is strange or this is sick, because we had been talking for a while. But we broke. We ended up breaking up a couple months after that. But it wasn't because of that um but we didn't really know how to talk about it i didn't really bring it up because it kind of made me i guess a little bit uncomfortable i didn't like it it's not like it was a kink it's not something that i had you know i think about like oh this is hot in a sense um literally don't believe anything i said. feel like that's cap <laughs> Yeah, Are they still trolling. together? You're lying about everything. Uh, your, I don't really your mom speak and to his my dad. father. Your mom and his dad. I'm not sure. We don't talk. I feel like you're just trying to create this as some kind of fantasy for weird men online. And that's like your whole persona. Also about the dog thing. Was that like your whole entire relationship? Or were, did you guys like actually treat each other like humans for a certain point in time? Or is that I mean, just yeah, like a little it wasn't... thing that went on for like... That wasn't the whole thing. Oh, no. uh, I mean, obviously, I walk and talk like a human, but um, I enjoy acting like a dog. It's comforting for me. Like, growing up, um, when my mom got married, uh, we got a dog. His name was Sebastian. He was a Rottweiler. And I would go out, and, you know, I was very sheltered, so I would kind of... My dog was, like, my best friend, in a sense. I would act like a dog. He would sleep in my mom's room. I would go sleep in his kennel. I'd get in trouble for it, but you know, I'd drink out of a bowl. I feel like it's more, it's not a kink thing. Like I don't look at it as a kinky thing. I know other people may do and that's okay. This is the second time in two podcasts that I've been confronted with a dog person. Yeah, maybe, maybe, not, maybe this is something that's more common than I thought. It's people. not a kink and I see how it could be. Do you think that you, you said you really enjoy being very submissive to I a man. Do. You don't like making your own decisions. So do you, you think that and then you, were sort of at, you, were at, you were at his feet literally and you were sleeping on a mat. Do you think that this is you, a sexual thing? A you, were, you were turned on by the fact that you were being controlled like a dog? I think in a sense it does. Okay. Um, you know what? Bibl biblical not... submission is nothing that you're describing, right? What do you say? Biblical submission means you're submitting to a man who deserves to be submitted to and you respect yourself. 
because he respects you as well i so like the idea that you're equating like biblical submission and like your religion or lack thereof your jesus <laughs> relationship with submission as a dog doesn't add up like it doesn't it's not the same thing I don't think anything adds up. Yeah, but that's just, <laughs> I more, mean, that's just I, one of the things. It's what I enjoy. Uh, I know that it's hard to believe, but... I but mean, can you agree that that's not the same type of submission? So when you say that you believe in like biblical submission, that's not what, what you're doing? Well, I never said that I believe in biblical submission. But I said you say that I am submissive. Oh, you're a Jesus. Christian. Why don't you believe no, in the Bible, right? Do you not believe no. in the Bible? Do you believe in the church that Jesus founded, or do you just believe in Jesus? I mean, I believe in... The Bible. I believe in Jesus. Mm-hmm. I'm not the most religious person. I feel like obviously that's something I need to work on and get closer to the Lord. But what do you? What do you have like things that you do to do that? Or mm-hmm. like what are your usual um, routines? I do Bible study on Tuesday. It's called like Life Men's Bible Study. I'm trying my best to learn as much as I can. I know that I'm not the most... Is do you do it online or in person? It's online, but I have printed out. I can pull up a photo of like the formats the prompts that we have that I look over um but I'm learning as much as I can you mm-hmm. know that's I good. feel like I can obviously do better and that's what I'm trying to do get closer to the Lord and try my best to yeah that's good if you are doing that that's fantastic but I felt like you were being a bit like tongue-in-cheek before when you were saying oh I get on my knees and I pray to him every night it's I do of, if- I pray every night yeah but the way you said it though you, you said it you were trying to be tongue-in-cheek cheeky and looking at the camera and it's not really the way you should say it. I mean, that's, yeah, that's fair. Were you being tongue-in-cheek, though? Were I wasn't trying flirty? to. I, yeah. think I, I think I come across as flirty or cheeky when I get nervous. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe but that wasn't my intention behind it. Yeah. Do you okay. treat, like, all of your other relationships kind of how you treated the one that you just described? I like to be... Relationship-wise. Like, yeah, I like to be treated in that sense um i'm always very submissive i feel like i mean i've only been in two real relationships i guess and i prefer to be submissive all the time i think it's like my duty i guess i feel safer that way i don't want to have to make my own decisions i don't want to have to i guess really just make my own decisions it's just what i prefer i need i feel like i need a sense of control i am have like a wild card i guess um and i feel like i need that guidance and those rules and consequences that can kind of keep me you know if you don't mind me asking and you don't have to answer this but do you have some kind of like childhood trauma something that happened (laughs) to you that might have caused this and you don't have to go into detail no that no that's fine i mean i think that's a fair question i am into some weird stuff and i think most people who are into really weird things do have that trauma um i don't i don't think i mean my parents got divorced when i was probably maybe one apollo shinida <laughs> donated 100 dollars. we have a serious mental health crisis in this country but i don't think that that directly affected me growing up um was your dad in your life when your parents got divorced Mm-mm. i mean i was probably one years old so I don't really remember Mm -hmm. any of it at all um I think maybe that's a good thing but no I don't have any uh childhood trauma I think I'm a single mom raised by a single mom she got remarried okay did that man treat you well like was he a good example yeah good I'll fix it but no I don't have I mean I don't think I have any childhood trauma I think I'm just maybe a little bit weird okay 